Hi, now we continue the analysis using R Commander and R. Remember what we're doing is creating this model dead space is modelled as a function of height plus asthma. So dead space is our output variable or often called the dependent variable and height and asthma are two independent variables. Asthma being a nominal variable this can also be called an analysis of covariance. So here we are in R, should be very familiar to you, to load R Commander. Once we have the R Commander interface up, we load our file. We're going to use the SPSS file again. So it's data, import data, SPSS data set. Call it my data. We don't want to import the factor levels. OK, find the file. Check we've got the right data. Dead space, height, asthma, age, bronchitis, etc. Fine. Close that. Then to carry out the analysis, we go statistics, fit models, linear regression. And we're having as our response variable, our output variable, dead space. And for the two input variables, it's asthma and height. Hold down the control key so we can get two variables in, press OK, and there is our results. Exactly the same as SPSS, but lacking the confidence interval and the part correlations. I talked in a previous YouTube video about how we can work out the confidence intervals from this results. You can look back at those to find out how to do that. Notice the actual code it produced here so it says it's forget that dot it doesn't mean anything so the model it's created use the linear modeling function lm and we've got dead space tilde is modeled as that means asthma plus height and because it didn't use the attach command if we look up here it says exactly what the data is data equals my data we have typed that straight into r and got the same result down there using the summary command afterwards to call it up we can't actually draw the graph in our commander with the two parallel lines. We can draw the graph easily by just using the scatter plot option here and putting in the two variables. But I'm saying we can't actually ask for the constraint of the two parallel lines based upon asthma equals zero and one. If we do convert the asthma variable into a factor um, and then use the plot by groups we actually get to the non-parallel regression lines. Carrying out the analysis in R, we could do it several ways. We could either use the data and model we've already created in R Commander, so we could use my data and regmod.1, we should have really chosen a better name when we created that, um, or we can carry out the whole analysis in R without considering these things. If we had taken over the data set here, my data, we have obviously typed in the attach command here and then we could have used it and similarly with the uh, model. We wouldn't need to say attach, we could just uh, access my model that we called it in our commander. Rather than do this, I'm going to actually create the whole um, process again in R. So I just closed down R and started up again so we have no data or anything in it now. So the first thing is we obviously need to create our data. Either we could import um, a text file or a comma delimited file as usual as we discussed in other places or create the data on the wing. So that's what we'll actually do. So here we have dead space which is a vector with our values in it there Then we have height with our values in it there and now we have asthma and there's another term here called factor. So we made asthma a factor by using this factor command here. Press return and we don't see anything now and what we're going to do is, is put those vectors into a data frame. And we do that by using the data.frame command. So we say data frame, bind these three vectors together. And we call their data frame regression one. Let's return. Still don't see anything. But if we type in names regression one, we get to see the names of the vectors we created. So now we want to create our model. And we just do that pretty much the same as we saw. Um, our commander did it. So the model, I call it this time, gets the linear model, dead space 
is multiplied as a function of asthma plus height. Return. I just want to check the levels of asthma to show you that we use that factor command there. And if we press that, we can see we've got two levels of asthma, which is 0 and 1. Obviously, we could type summary command now of the model, and we get exactly the same as we had before. And that's the details of the actual data frame, isn't it? So I should have typed in there the name of my model, sorry, called the model. And now we get the results we were looking for, which are identical to those in Campbell. Right now, why we've done this really in R is because we want to actually get this scatter plot with the two levels of asthma shown as different signs on the scatter plot and also the two regression lines that are parallel. So to do that, we use this thing called split, this function called split in R. If we look here, what I've done is create two subgroups of data. The first subgroup of data is those that have asthma, and the second subgroup of data are those that don't have asthma. And I use this split command that takes split value, and each time you call it, it calls a different level of the asthma. So first of all, it uses the zero level, and then it uses the one level of asthma. Let's return, we don't see anything. But now we're going to create an empty plot so we can actually put in these two subsets of data. So we create an empty plot by just using the plot command, which consists of height and dead space variables. And we use this type here that says n. We're take em creating an empty plot to begin with. The x label is dead space and the y label is height. If you don't create an empty plot first, you can't actually add things to it. So here we are, there's our dead space versus height plot that's empty. Now we have the two sets of points, and to do that we've got to reference the subsets that were created up there using the split command. And to reference those, we've got to use these double square brackets. That's because split command returns a list, which is a particular type of data structure in our press return. And now if we look, at our scatter plot, we've got the two sets of data, one for the asthmatics and one for the non-asthmatics. And from what I remember, the asthmatics are the lower levels and the non-asthmatics are the higher level. If you look in my notes, it describes what the PCHAR 21 and 4 equal. Now also, to draw these regression lines, I'm going to have to find out the parameter values from my models, just as we did in SPSS, if you remember. We use those parameter values to create the um, two regression equations. So to actually see what we've got in terms of our model, I use I refer to my model that I created before the model. Then I use this dollar sign, and that dollar sign tells me what the coefficients are. So the intercept was minus 46, and the asthma one beta value was minus 16, and height was. 0.845, exactly the same as we have everywhere else. We know how to refer to them now. So we can refer to those and create our, our regression lines. So to create our regression lines, just make a few spaces so everything clearer, we use the abline command. And the abline command takes the parameters back to front to what you'd expect. It takes the intercept and then slope value. So here we've got abline and we've used the coefficient 1, which is minus 46, and then we've used coefficient 3, which is height. And we're saying the line type is equal to 1, which again, look in my notes, you can find out what that means, and the colour is black. Press and return. Now if we look at our graph, we can see we've added a line there, which is solid and black, as we specified. Now we can add the other line. Here is our second line, so this time we add the same value again as the first value, but we add to it the difference. So that is saying, that's the difference, do you remember? We talked about this in SPSS, exactly the same. And then the third value, which is our slope, which is the same as the first one, identical. This time we've changed the line type to number 2, uh, which you'll see, it gives us a dotted line, I think. Um, we change the thickness as well. And we've changed the colour. So return, and then minimise that window, and we look, we've got the second line there. We could also add a legend as well, um, which I haven't bothered to do. 
and I've shown you how to do that in the past so if you go back to YouTube tutorials and the other examples to see how to add a legend of each of those values so now we need to carry out the analysis with our interaction term in R that just simply means changing the uh, linear model slightly so we have here dead space is modeled as a function of height plus asthma plus the interaction term which you show by using a colon in R um, alternately R has a shorthand method of showing this by just saying dead space is modeled as a linear function of asthma star height and that means that they include both the effects separately and also the interaction right let's get on and do it so this time we just modify our model slightly the model gets linear model of dead space is modeled as a function of asthma star height which does not mean times in this context it means you take the main value those two values as separate variables and also the interaction between them press return if you don't see anything then if we do summary model we'll have an extra parameter this time here we are so we've got a parameter for asthma parameter for height and we've got a parameter for the interaction as well the same as we got in SPSS right let's carry on now and draw the graph with the two non-parallel regression lines we've used the split command before we have the same data points we just create a new graph so it's plot height dead space empty that means and there are the labels so there we have a empty plot now we want to add the two sets of points which are exactly the same as before there we are and now we actually create the two regression equations I just want to check which way around the various parameters are so I use the model dollar coefficients expression to show us and here we are that's one two three four and now we add our regression equations so the first one is the first coefficient is that plus the third coefficient right as the slope let's return and let's check to see what we've got there we are now we have the second one unfortunately the second um, regression equation is rather long so i'll just show you it abline first coefficient plus the second coefficient is the intercept and then the third and the fourth is the slope and then we've just added two commands which change the color and the type press return and close that down and there we are at two non-parallel regression lines showing the interaction